Continuing the field questions here for you, Assimilia, I have a student asking how to incorporate my free high-yield PDFs from my website into 2CK prep. I know many of you are studying for step one. Relax. I will uh, quickly tell you how should you incorporate my high-yield PDFs into your prep for both step one and step two. Not going to make this a lengthy clip. Before we get started, I will be a quick asshole, though. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And give the video a like. I really appreciate it. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let me answer the question here. So uh, once again, how to incorporate my PDFs into your prep for step one and step two. The, there's, there's two components to this uh, answer, which is how do we use the PDFs during dedicated when you're closer to your exam, step one and step two? And how do you just use my PDFs throughout your prep in general? Now, for throughout your prep in general, the answer is it doesn't fucking matter. Okay, you're gonna be doing you're gonna be doing lots of questions. That's standard. Uh, working your way through UWorld, etc. Many of you, uh, there's there's significant variation in how uh, far you are from your exam. Whether you're on rotations, whether you're uh, significantly very much far away from your exam and preclinicals. So there's variation. But the point is, you can use my PDFs just as standard reading while you're working through QBank, okay? There's no crisis as far as the hyper-specifics of how you have to go through them. Just fucking get through them, okay? Now, how do you go through them during dedicated when you're within your final month pr prior to your step one and, and your step two? And the answer is your focus during those final four weeks in particular needs to be on the NBME content. Now look, I have made lots of prior clips on this stuff uh, discussing these concepts at length, but you're going to wake up during dedicated and the bulk of your day should be the NBME content, 20 through 30, and forms 20 through 30 for step one for 2CK, the clinical mastery series forms, as well as NBME six through 11. That's how you're going to wake up. That's the bulk of your day, but there's a saturation threshold where after six to eight hours going through questions, you say, okay, I'm starting to ADHD the fuck out. I can't do questions anymore. Right. So now you're going to go through my high yield PDFs. And some students want a very militaristic regimen as far as should I be doing 20 pages per night in this PDF from like 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's to it's in my experience with students that uh, we don't have to hyper fixate on strict uh, reading timelines like that because they're often not met anyway. OK, so uh, we give you a very specific regimen of how many pages per night and then uh, a student will either go faster than expected, slower than expected. So you just need to keep uh, in your mind in a very qualitative sense that you're going to be waking up doing questions as the core pillar of your day during the final month and dedicated. And then you're going to be going through my high yield PDFs as much as you can per night. For step one, you got to make sure you know high yield arrows. I want you going through that PDF twice for sure in order to pass the exam. Go through all, go through all the PDFs, but especially high yield arrows. And for 2CK, I mean, of course, I have 2CK specific ones, PEDS, OBS, and Gynae, et cetera. Uh, you're just going to make sure you really uh, do my uh, PDFs. But after you finish your review of questions for the day, okay, you really need to get through questions. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.